Hey everyone and welcome to the Loom Ladder. Today I'm doing a book haul slash showing you some of the spines that I'll be using in my new unit study. So if you missed my last video I'll link it below. But basically for sixth grade I am doing, we're doing a theme year. So it's based on dragons from the Wings of Fire series but dragons in general as well and also uh, fantastic mythical beasts. So in my unit study I have incorporated language arts and writing, science, geography, IT and history. Okay so I'll show you some of the books that I've got to go along with our studies and I'll link them below where I can. Okay so we'll start with science first. So in our science or our pre center studies, and you'll know what I mean if you watch my last video, we're going to be doing some different things. So the first thing we're going to do is kitchen chemistry. And you won't need all of these books in order to do the unit study. These are all the ones that I'll be using, but I'm not making the unit study in the way that you have to have all of these books. Um, but you will need some of them for a spine. So our spine, if you like, for our, our pre center time, which is our kitchen chemistry, is one of these books. You can choose whichever one you prefer, or you could get both. It's entirely up to you. Okay, so this one is Kitchen Chemistry and it's got lots of hands-on experiments and activities in it. And the thing that attracted me most to it was it has links and QR codes and things like that that can actually really bring it to life. So it's not just a textbook, you've got activities in there um, with your experiments and things and you've also got QR codes where you can click on different links to watch videos and um, see different websites and that's exactly how I like my unit studies to be. I will be adding things into the unit study, so different links and things for you to click on as well So it could, because obviously a book can only fit so many in so I will be adding the extra into it but I was really impressed when I saw this book. I actually found it um, via Google when I was searching for kitchen chemistry um, books. Um, I've never heard of this publisher before and I've never used any of their books but it really reminds me of um, the Explore books. If you have seen my history uh, unit that I made, um, Journal Through Time, then the, the spine books I use for that is the Explore books. And these really remind me of those. Um, so I was really, really impressed when I saw it. So basically, this one has got just eight chapters in it. So we've got Chemistry Matters, The Small Stuff, Atoms and Molecules, Mix It Up With Mixtures, Reactions, Solids, Liquids, Gases, A Change of State, and then Water Everywhere. And as you can see here, it'll tell you when there's time to look at QR code or um, to click on something. Obviously, you'll have to type it in because I didn't get the Kindle version, but there is a Kindle version which you can just click on the links. Um, if you'd like a flip through of any of these, definitely let me know. I'd be more than happy to do it. But basically, you've got some information about the chapter. Um, you have got vocabulary, which reminds me of the Harcourt Science. I will be making vocabulary cards that you can use on a word wall um, to go with it, with the unit. Um, and then it's got, as I said, activity. So, for example, there's a QR code there that you can watch a video with. I like the little cartoons. My daughter is going to really love those. Comic, style, comic book style. It'll give you some writing activities. So for example, you're using a science journal to do some activities. We've got think about it, words to know again with vocabulary. Um, and then at the end of each chapter, you'll have some experiments and activities to do. So this one is about a balloon. There's a cooking one. I'm really, really excited about this series. And you'll see I have picked up a couple more of these uh, the, this series as well because I was so impressed with them. Now your other option for your spine is the Kitchen Science Cookbook. Because I already had this I'm actually utilising both of them in our personal lesson plan but in the actual lesson plan I'll be making with the unit study I'll you know ask you to choose which one you want and follow the plans for that. The reason I'm doing both is because there are some really, really good um, experiments in here. And my daughter saw this book, she was just in awe. So I had to do both of them, but I'll be tying them up. So for example, when we're doing uh, reactions in here, we can look at some of the reaction experiments. And also because my daughter is really big on experiments. And although there are experiments in this book, there are not enough for us. We like lots and lots of experiments. So that's why I'm utilizing them both, but you obviously don't have to do that. You can pick one or the other. Um, but yes, this is a really visual book. It's got um, some information about the science as well that goes with it and then explore further. And I'll be given links, as I said, to videos that you can watch to go dive into the topic a bit more. I'll find some websites as well that you can um, have a look at as well. 
Okay, so those are our spines for um, the Prey Center. Um, some additional books that I've chosen that won't be part of the unit study in terms of plans for, for, as for the product I'm selling, but they will be in our plans. And I've got the Osborne What's Chemistry All About. Um, we'll be going through this as well. And I also have this Vicky Card book, Science Experiments You Can Eat. And um, I will be using this as well as part of our plans. Um, it's a really, really, really good book. I love the explanations um, for the actual science that you're doing, as well as the different experiments. Okay, so if you, again, watched my video previously, I'll link it below. I said that we were going to be doing elements as well, our element study. And it's because of Wings of Fire and how their school is based around elements in part. So we'll be doing the periodic table um, and I'll have different activities to go along with this. And I have this fantastic book, which I absolutely love. This is from Scholastic. Um, it's so visual. It's amazing. Uh, it's got all the different elements and information about them. And then I have the Lift the Flat periodic table from Osborne and the Jigsaw as well. While I was planning on my unit study, um, my daughter has been really enjoying geology. So I've decided to add that in for us. And I'll put it as an optional on the unit study um, list. If you wanted to get this book, then you could do, but you know, it's not essential. Um, but we really are, are wanting to do more geology this year as well. So I found the geology lab for kids. So this has got 52 projects to explore rocks, gems, geos, crystals, fossils, and other wonders of the earth's surface. So it has lots of different labs for you to do, the science behind them, um, their experiments that are practically possible. <laughs> um, you know, you're not, your kids shouldn't be disappointed because they should actually do what it's meant to do. Um, and I'll, again, I'll be linking videos and extra things for us to do along with this, different websites and stuff. So I'm excited about that. And then I also got the companion to the uh, Scholastic book, Rocks, Minerals and Gems. Um, again, this is absolutely beautiful. I love this book. Um, and it's going to be such a fun one to go through. I'm also going to get her a, a rock tumbler. Um, so we're going to have lots of fun with our geology as well this year. Okay, I also mentioned in that previous video that we I was for the geography slash science element of the Fantastic Beasts and obviously Wings of Fire as well. I was looking at doing... Um, biomes or zoology I couldn't really make I hadn't made my mind up but I obviously have decided now so we're going to go with biomes the thing that made me decide biomes was the one is because um in Wings of Fire the dragons live in different kingdoms so we've got in the rainforest under the ocean so you know and several others so it just made sense to do biomes and again I got this uh book from well, it's a Nomad Press as the publisher it's the same publisher who did the chemistry book um, and this is Biomes Discover the Earth's Ecosystems with Environmental Science Activities. Again, it's the same principle. You've got the different um, biomes. And then this has got 11 chapters. So basically, I've got enough for the full year with including my zoology. Um, not zoology. Geology, even, including my geology. So um, this is for 11 chapters, and it's deserts, rainforests, as you can see, tundra, savanna, grassland, ocean. And it's the same principle. So you've got information to read, uh, vocabulary. Um, and then you've, again, this one's got links as well. And then at the end, you have activities that you can do. And to complete our year, we are doing biodiversity, explore the diversity of life on Earth with environmental science activities. And this one has got six chapters. So we've got what it is, history of it, why, threats, protecting biodiversity, etc. And I thought they would go really well together. For some other geography, uh, content I want to do for our year as well. We'll be using the Osborne Geography Encyclopedia and also the DK Animal Atlas, What's Where on Earth. Okay, so for our legends, which is our history, the spine is DK Dragon World, Meet the Fire-Breathing Beasts of Mythology. 
So this is for the Wings of Fire, and then this, Griffins, Unicorns, and other myth Mythical Beasts, is for the Fantastic Beasts. Um, that's not going to be the name, obviously, <laughs> uh, but the Fantastic Beast-esque unit. This specifically would be for when you're doing your creature magazine. However, you could use the Fantastic Beast and Where to Find Them book as well. So you've got a choice of spines. Um, the reason I didn't put this one as the spine is because it's super expensive. It's £20. Um, but I actually got it for £8 used and it's in really good condition. But obviously I know not everyone is going to find it used. So I didn't want a super expensive spine. But it is a fantastic book. And if you've already got it then, um, all the better. <laughs> but this one will be the spine for the unit. It's much more... Um, reasonably priced and it's got all the information you would need so you will use this if you're wanting to do mythical creatures for your unit but if you don't want to do mythical creatures and you want to do real creatures then you could use the animal atlas so this this is multi-purpose you can use it for your geography but you can also use it for the legends um, for the creature magazine not for legends but for the creature magazine from the fantastic beast section of the unit study some fun extras, um, you don't have to have these at all, they're not even in the unit, but they are, they'll be classed as optional. And that's Dragonology, and this is an absolutely beautiful book. I love, love, love it so much. Again, I didn't put it as a spine because it is on the pricier side, but if you can find it used then. But it is absolutely gorgeous. If you have dragon fans, definitely get it. <laughs> and then I also found this one, this was used, this is the Monstrology one. Um, so it's a lot smaller but it still packs packed full with information and it's got all your different beasties in too so you could also use this one and it also ha I was lucky because this was used but it still has the stickers with it and none of them have been touched so that was handy Okay, and for our dragon art and our, our fantastic creatures art, the one I've picked, I'm not sure, I think this is definitely going to be the spine, but there's another one that I've got my eye on. Again, it's really pricey, so I don't want to put this super expensive book as part of a unit because that just doesn't seem right. Um, but if I can find it in enough places used, then I might switch but for right now this is um our spine for our art so we've got how to draw fantastic dragons and fantasy creatures this again is a really good one goes into quite a lot of detail and even goes shows you how to draw the claws or the talons <laughs> um there's another one that i really like this is um, that has some other th other things in like eye details and stuff um, so I might include that as well it's, again it's not too expensive it's not, it does include some things like colour information as well but we'll see um, I'll just show you some of the, the beasts that it has in it so it's not just got dragons in um, so that's why currently it's the spine but I'll let you know if I change my mind and have the other one um, but yes, I'm really happy about that one. Okay, so some other things for our writing aspects of our language arts. We have got the Write Your Own Sci-Fi and Fantasy Story from Osborne. These are amazing. I love them so much. I've been, I always photocopy mine so that we can reuse them. And if obviously you've got more than one kid, um, then that's another great reason to do so. Um, I don't know whether you're not supposed to do that. I have no idea, but it's a personal use. So that's what we do. I mentioned that in our creature magazine we would be really thinking about um, design, not just you know the content, so the information about the beast, you know, be how to present it and everything else. So we have the Osborne Write and Design Your Own magazine. So these two are spines. You will have to get these two um, for the unit because you'll be working through them. I am actually doing the lesson plans with those specific ones in there. So. Um, this one will be optional. This is the Osborne Design Activity Book. Um, this one goes more into fonts and things um, and other 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 palettes. And um, so this is optional because it's not really specifically about a magazine, but it's got you know picking palettes. Um, think about color and everything else, packaging. So it's, this is not essential, but I'll put it on the optional if you wanted to add it. They will be building their own website um, for. IT. So I have got the Osborne Build Your Own website. Again, this will be um, essential. 
And again, for our Python, we'll be using the coding for beginners using Python. Again, that is essential for the spine. I do have this one, the DK Computer Coding for Kids. And again, this is just optional. You don't have to have this one, but it does go into other things, um, not just Python. So for example, we have some scratch in there too. Um, and it also talks about making apps. That's something my daughter really wants to do. So we might, I might add a bit of that in, into the actual unit and we'll see because she's really interested in doing that or it might just be, you know, something that we do and then, you know, I can share in the future what we did and stuff. I don't know. It all depends on time. This is a big unit study um, for me to work through. I'm, I'm plodding through and getting there, but, um, you know, I, I, ha I can't do everything <laughs> in one unit. So it could be that I add that as an add-on in the future. Um, we'll see. But for us to do it, it's fine. It's just, you know, to make everything for everyone else to do as well. But I'll do my best. <laughs> I'll add in as much as I can. Um, and it might be that I don't add it in until I, we've used it ourselves for the things like app development and stuff like that. But there we go. This is a good book if your kid is into or interested in app development as well. Okay, so that's everything so far. Um, as I said, I will be putting lesson plans in with the unit, so it's not just gonna be a case of use this book. I'm gonna actually say what you need to do with it. So I know a lot of people like um, schedules, you know, so it, it spells out, okay, this week we're doing this, and that's how I'm actually gonna be doing it, um, because that's what I wanna do, that's how I wanna do it too um, for us. So I will be making schedules and, you know, telling you to do this page on this day and everything else. Um, if you choose to do it that way. Um, but yes, I'm really excited. The unit's going really well. I can't wait to get it all done. And um, I'm really excited for our year with it. So that's everything I've got so far for our new unit. Thanks for watching. Take care and I'll see you soon.